What's the best way to get your child to listen to you during the teen years when everything seems to lead to a fight? Joining me to talk about this is Dr. Candace Dunn, who is a psychologist and the clinical director of the Saratoga Center for the Family. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. How can parents do this? How can parents talk to their teens and have them listen to them without it leading to a fight? Well, the teen years are certainly a time of great change. So one of the ways to counteract that is to provide a lot of structure and stability in the home. Hopefully you've already laid the foundation for a great relationship with your teenager um, as they've been moving through the years and talking with them on an ongoing basis about what your expectations are, what are the rules in your home, what are the consequences for not meeting those rules. Um, letting them know ahead of time so that when conflict arises, you can refer to the rules you've already established with them. And when do you recommend, when should parents talk to their teens about rules? They probably should actually never stop talking about that topic. Uh, reinforcing, uh, having those conversations in the car, in the grocery store, whenever. Uh, teenagers are very busy, so making sure that you take advantage of those moments in time when you have them as a captive audience. Uh, letting them know this is these are the rules of our family this is the culture of our family this is what we expect and you talked about pressure do you think parents nowadays put a lot of pressure on the teens and maybe that's why the communication sometimes in the structure falls through teens are certainly very busy and being a teenager is, is a difficult developmental task it it's very hard and it's even harder in today's day and age Parents need to be supportive, but they need to provide that structure and that kind of touchstone for their teen that uh, lets them feel cared for, lets them know that um, this will never change. So when talking about the structures, should parents worry less about becoming their friends and worry more about the structure itself or have both? I think a good parent com manages to figure out how to combine being loving and being firm and being consistent. Those are two important qualities that need to meld together. Um, teenagers are looking for structure. They themselves are on this journey of self-discovery. Part of their job is to question rules. So it's worth the, the investment in time for parents to talk with each other, to make sure they're co-parenting, make sure they both agree. Um, not letting any wiggle room crop up between the two parents, um, making it clear what they expect and letting their teenagers know. And when they don't follow through with the rules? I think one of the traps that parents fall into is taking things away and not having the punishment fit the crime. Uh, they come home half an hour late and they're grounded for a month. That's not That's realistic. Not a good idea. Parents aren't going to be able to follow through on that. And taking things away, taking away privileges, fairly quickly you run out of things to take away. So, so what do you recommend instead of that? I recommend adding things on. Really? I recommend saying, well, we had a discussion, you knew the rule was this, you needed to be here on time, you weren't, we talked about the consequence being, uh, now you'll clean out the garage. Okay. Instead of taking, adding. Mm -hmm. All right. And what resources are there available for parents if they're going through this struggle? Well, um, accessing the web is always a good thing. You can find a lot of good literature on that. There are many sources. Um, we offer parenting classes at the center that people find helpful. You only need to call the center to, to get that information. Dr. Dunn, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. And if you have a question about the topic or if you have a question for Dr. Dunn, just go log on to my website at parentologywithpaula.com.